Welcome to my channel. What I'm doing right now is just going ahead and melting some butter. I'm going to go ahead and make this turn into some brown butter. In the meantime, while I'm waiting on this, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my chicken breast. I'm going to fillet it in half and go ahead and season it on both sides. Okay, so at this point, the butter has started browning. What I'm doing right now is just taking the chicken and placing it in the uh, skillet. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let this sit in the skillet for about five, six minutes, and then I'm gonna flip it over to the other side. In the meantime, y'all go ahead and subscribe to my channel. All right, so as you can see, it's already browned on the one side. All I'm gonna do is go ahead and flip it over and let it cook on the other side. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and take this yellow onion and go ahead and dice it up into about medium sized pieces. After this, I'm going to go ahead and take some bell peppers as well and go ahead and dice those up as well. pretty it is y'all look at that pretty chicken <laughs> now okay so here i am going ahead and dicing up the, the bell pepper you want to go ahead and get all the seeds and everything that's on the inside of the bell pepper me personally i like to cut off the top and the bottom and then i like to go ahead and just take off all that little extra white i don't know exactly what it's called y'all don't judge me but y'all take all that little white excess stuff out the inside of your bell pepper As you can see, I already got the bell peppers and the onions and the skillet. Y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know, I did not clean the skillet. No, don't clean your skillet because all that flavor from that chicken and everything is in your skillet. Alright, so let me go ahead and catch up. You're gonna use those noodles that just passed by off the screen. <laughs> and you're gonna boil those according to the direction. Now, speed up the process. All I did was just cut up some beef sausage, dice them down the middle, and cut them into little bite-sized pieces and you want to cook those off until they are nice and crispy okay so what i'm doing right now i'm just about to melt some butter i'm gonna go ahead and make the cheese sauce now i get a lot of people asking me erica how do you make a cheese sauce boom i'm gonna do it with y'all right here all i did was take all right so i'm gonna go ahead and rewind originally i started out with a half a stick of butter and i used a half a cup of flour but then, I had to add that little extra butter in there because I don't like my roux to be still, y'all. Flour and butter is called a roux. This is what I'm making right now. Now, I'm taking a half and half, and I'm just pouring it freely in there. Now, while you're cooking this, it's going to start thickening up. The more it thickens up, the more um, wet ingredients you're going to have to put into it. Now, at this time, you see I put milk into it. Milk is a little bit thinner than half and half. Half and half has heavy cream and milk both in it. Heavy cream is rich, so it will thicken up the it will thicken up the sauce really good. So as right now as you see it's thickening up. I went ahead and just grab a handful of cheese. Y'all y'all can use whatever cheese you want to use. Me personally, I go to Walmart and I get me a good old big bag of cheese. It's I think I'm not mistaken, that's the Fiesta blend cheese. Yeah, the the Fiesta blend cheese. And it's like $5 at Walmart. And it's like a big bag. So I get that and I finesse my way with all of that. All right, so boom, I'm adding some garlic powder. I'm adding some Tony's Creole seasoning. And I'm adding a little bit of salt. You want to mix it up. And y'all see how smooth it is? That's how smooth you want your cream, uh, your cheese sauce to be. At this point, I'm adding the noodles. I'm mixing in the noodles with the cheese sauce. All you want to do is mix it up, y'all. All right, I'm going to be quiet. Man, 
and boom y'all see that all i did was add a little bit of extra cheese on top of it put the top on it let the cheese melt and there you go it was your cajun pasta y'all can assemble it however you want to do it me i just put the macaroni at the bottom put a little cheese on top of that put on the onions and peppers and the sausage and then after i put the sausage on there i went ahead and placed the chicken filet and some more cheese Thanks for watching you guys, like and subscribe to my channel.